ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, let's sit back, relax, and grab a snow cone and do the, and do the show. That's what we'll do. Hey. Hello, Facebook friends. Hello. Hello, all my friends. Hello. I'm feeling real silly, so let's start the show. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. ba do ba do ba do ba ba do ba da ba 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 da ba 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 da da I don't know if that's how a trombone sounds, but that's what I think it sounds like. Anyway, hey everybody, welcome to Tazzy Read Stuff, where I, Mr. Tazzy, read stuff. That's what we do. So grab a snow coat and enjoy the show. Hey, Miss Christie's here. Hello, Miss Christie. Say hello, Miss Christie. Hey, Miss Christy. You've turned into me. I'm the one who says words funny. You, you yeah. usually... Show your hand, Miss Christy. Did you show your hand already? People know you're real. There you go. <laughs> no, don't get the puppy if I touch your face, my face to your hand. Uh, Justin saying hello, Miss Christy. Hello. Yaz is in the bathroom. Ba da ba bum. Jet splash. Yaz was taking a bath. Doodle 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 do. Scrub a dub, she's relaxing in the tub. Bada boda bada boo boo. And Sabrina says, Thank you for the presentation to the nurses yesterday. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, thank you very much, Sabrina. Thank you. I'm going to thank you very much for using, uh, using, thank you for using your words, Sabrina. Uh, thank you for uh, taking the time to let me know. That makes my heart very happy. And Gay is watching as well. Gay Kirby, how are you? And uh, that's all. That's, I don't know. This did is you probably ever other people. thank her for the last batch of jams? <laughs> Gay, did I thank you for the last batch of jams? The, the jams were delicious. They're very, very good. They're very good. I didn't know you weren't supposed to drink them, so maybe you should have put instructions. That's what I'm saying. They were really good. And mar it was marmalade. Uh, and it and was grape. Grape jelly. And then another jelly. That We haven't tried the other jelly yet. No. <laughs> I know what I'm doing after. I'm getting a straw and going after Gay's jelly. That's what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. She said yes. We did thank her. Okay. Well, thanking you again. That's perfect. Do we ever, th do we ever thank uh, Albert for bringing over $12,000? Thank you, Albert, for bringing over $12,000. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know. I don't know. $12,000. What do we need that for? Is that how much the beer is worth? <laughs> the beer is worth what? Well, oh, it's, uh, it's pretty good beer. Yeah, it's pretty good root beer. Root beer is good. Delicious root beer. Uh, Tara's here. Hello, Tara. Good to see you as well. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's read a book. I found this book in... Uh, Melissa uh, had uh, lent us some books, and I was supposed to take them back, and I just found them. Uh, Melissa Soren lent us uh, Junk Pile Jennifer. I don't think we ever read this because it was a longer book. So we're going to read this tonight. Uh, today was a great day. I had a show for uh, um, Care For Ontario, which are people that take care of those... Who are suffering or living with Alzheimer's? So they go and they take these uh, people that are have Alzheimer's and they um, take them on outings and they uh, give a little bit of relief uh, work for those that are caring for uh, people with dementia and Alzheimer's. So it was really great, really lovely. Because this week, yes, this week is Nurses Week. This whole month is Physio Month. Uh, next week is Support Workers Week. And a uh, week before last was Mental Health Week. So May is really uh, jammed. And it was Mother's Day as well. So there we go. Uh, this book is by John F. Green. And it's illustrated by Marianne Kowalowski. Kowalowski. I, think I, I, th I think I got Kowalowski right. Kowalowski? Kowalowski? Uh, yeah, it's Kowalowski. Hmm. Sorry. I don't know you, but I'm saying sorry anyway. Here we go. Let's read a book. Oh, this has got lots of words. Jennifer collected things, not useful things uh, like, uh, that other kids collected, like empty perfume bottles, old baseball cards, magnifying glasses, and cracked lenses. Jennifer collected junk, piles of junk. Every day on her way to school, she looked for stuff that people had thrown away. Nothing was missed. Look, the, other, she, the kids would yell, here comes junk pile Jennifer. Jennifer paid no attention. She stuffed her treasures in her backpack and carted them home. I don't, I don't know anybody else like this in this family. <laughs> Other people's trashes. Some people's That's treasure. Right. Jennifer's bedroom looked like the inside of a billy goat's stomach. <laughs> That's a good. That's a good visual. 
Scattered over her floor were several worn out tires, a broken lawnmower, a set of kitchen taps, two smashed typewriters, a heap of, a heap of bed springs, a bunch of vacuum cleaner hoses, a pile of Halloween pumpkins, a shopping cart without wheels, a bicycle frame, a bathtub, a refrigerator door, and a transistor radio that worked only at night. <laughs> I used to have that. That's usually only when you have time to sit and listen to the radio anyways, right? So. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Sometimes, just for the fun of it, Jennifer put things together in ways that didn't make any sense, like the broken TV and the goldfish swimming in it, or the one-legged teddy bear inside the hamster cage. Even Jennifer's clothes cluttered the room, because there was absolutely no space in the closet. It was packed from floor to ceiling with 3186 3, Captain Astro Blast magazines. Jennifer loved Captain Astro Blast. Every week she was the first to buy his magazine and every night she watched his TV show. She dreamed that one day he would sweep out of the sky, carry her away in a sleek black space cruiser, uh, the crack of doom. Hello, William, how are you? Good to see you, Hanette. Welcome to Tazzy Reads Stuff. Today we're reading Junk Pile Jennifer. So, this little space left in her room, Jennifer began storing junk in other parts of the house. Every night, her mother loaded the station wagon with a big pile of junk and took it away. The next day, though, Jennifer would bring it all back and more. One afternoon, Jennifer's father saw her dragging a broken washing machine up the front steps. No, 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 he cried. That's enough. All this junk has got to go. Jennifer frowned at her father. A oh, fooey. Who needs this hassle, she said. I'm moving out. Good, yelled her father, and you take that junk with you. How strong is she that she can haul a washing yeah, machine? Because those are heavy. One-handed. One-handed. Yeah, no, there's two hands on there. Oh. But there's there was blocks of cement in there to yeah. stabilize the washing machine. There so. is. <laughs> I was waiting for a special somebody to get on tonight, and... Um, uh, Sam is on the PS4 and William is there. Thank you. William, Sam, good to see you. I'm glad you're feeling good. Now, I got a little... Uh, I got this in the mail today. <laughs> this envelope that the... Uh, they smashed pretty good, to be honest with you. And inside was a little something, but uh, it was a little something from my friend Bev. And... Ba -ba -da -da! I got a puppy! Puppy, 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 puppy. <laughs> uh, this is a Make Somebody Happy Puppy, and it made me very happy. Uh, I don't know if they, do they come with names? Some of them do. The na My name is Grizzly. Wow. Grizzly. <laughs> that seems fitting, because I always call you Tazzy Bear. You call me Tazzy Bear, and here's Grizzly. <laughs> what does Miss Chrissy say? No, no puppies! No puppies! No puppies! I have a list now, do I? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. Love you, Bev. Thank you very much for sending this. This is Grizzly uh, Eastcott right here. That's what this is, Grizzly Eastcott. So we'll have to put him up there, but we'll put him over here right now mm -hmm. on the books. And inside she wrote, she wrote this. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? It says, Miss Christie approved. Love, Bev. I almost didn't see that. <laughs> I almost didn't see that. Almost didn't see that. Oh my gosh. So it was really so awesome. Thank you, Bev. Appreciate it very, very much. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Do that. Oh. He peed. <laughs> Oh, okay, back to reading. So she did. Oh, uh, good. Take your junk with you. You're moving out. That's where we left the story off before the commercial message. Brought to you by Bev Escott Leach and Grizzly Escott, the peeing puppy. Puppy, puppy, puppy starts with P and also ends with P. <laughs> so she did. She tossed all her junk out the window onto the backyard and built a house out of a truck fender, an old blanket, and a giant cardboard box. 
Her mother begged her to come back inside. Whatever will become of you, she moaned. Her father, father apologized for yelling and told her she could keep the washing machine. He even called Jennifer's teacher, who ordered her to stop her nonsense at once. But Jennifer wouldn't budge. Someday, she declared firmly, someone will need all my junk. It sounds like she's very self-sufficient. I think yeah. she's going to do just fine in fine, life. Yeah. One night, Jennifer was watching her favorite program, a rerun of Captain Astro Blast meets the dreaded dog drogs. At the very last part, the be very best part, right when the drogs, sorry, the, yeah, drogs fire a point blank laser at the cre crack of the. Well, try that again, maybe with my glasses, so that I can read a little bit better. Because sometimes the words get all fuzzy because my eyes are old and such like that. One night, Jennifer was watching her favorite program, a rerun of Captain Astro Blast meets the dreaded drogs. At the very best part, right when the drogs fire a point-blank laser blast at the crack of D Doom's hull, a deafening crash rocked Jennifer's house. It sounded like two garbage trucks colliding head-on. Bum-bum-bum. bum bum bum, 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 bum. When she crawled out to have a look, she couldn't believe her eyes. It looked like, but it couldn't be, there it was, in the yard was a shimmering black space cruiser, the crack of doom. Or at least what was left of it. It had come too close to the telephone wires and crash-landed in the middle of Jennifer's junk pile. Wisps of sooty smoke drift from the ship's afterburners. Pieces of spaceship lay everywhere. Lights came on all over the neighborhood, and people stared out the windows and leaned over fences. What's that? yelled one man. Looks like Jennifer's junk pile blew up, answered another. Looks like lovely junk, said Jennifer. Grizzly is a special service dog that visits many facilities in the Prairie Mountain Health Region. Oh, that's awesome. Is he a real dog? Like a real dog, Grizzly? Or is it? do the stuffed animals come? I'm, I'm, I'm curious, because if he's a real dog, we can get a real dog named Grizzly. Those Chrissy said I could have the dog named Grizzly. No, suddenly a hat... I'm reading. Suddenly a hat slammed open and out wobbled Captain Astro Blast himself. He, he looked confused, just like Miss Christie did. Rotten dogs, he yelled. A lucky shot. And all it was, that's all it was, he scuffed dismay, dismally around the ship. What a mess. It's going to be nothing but a pile of junk. Uh, this might look like a junk pile to you, said Jennifer eagerly. E eagerly. But to me, it has great possibilities. Don't They don't call me junk pile Jennifer for nothing. And then she began to study the spaceship closely. Yes, he's a real dog. You should never mail a real dog, Bev. You should bring it to me. Miss Christie said, that you could just bring me a dog. Listen. No. Once you drink Tazzy a dog, it's okay. I said, okay, it's me. Christy saying, you could drink Tazzy a dog named Grizzly if you wanted to. That's perfect. <laughs> you could just drink I... whatever you wanted to just drink me a dog. <laughs> ha ha ha. I love Tazzy's. You've got Mr. your lying Tazzy. eyes on there, Tazzy. Mr. Tazzy says it's okay to have a doggy. You can bring his Christy a doggy. <laughs> Captain no, Astro Bunch. <laughs> Captain Astrobus plopped down on the ground and stared unhappily into the m space. Jennifer went right to work. First, she collected all the pieces that had fallen off the ship. She sorted them into th them out according to shape and size. Well, that's what I thought, she said finally. Junk is junk no matter where it comes from. The neighbors murmured in approval. Jennifer got all her tools, screwdrivers, hammers, drills, saws, wrenches, pliers, and welding torches, and she put hatches and ladders and handles back where they belong. She put the portholes and pipes where they had never been before. Nuts and bolts and metal shavings flew around her head like fireflies. Yep, she's definitely going to do okay in life. I think so. She's got a can-do attitude. Oh, Bev says no more puppies. Bev, we need to talk. She attached knobs and dials and levers and springs and pedals and hoses and ho wheels and gears. She added motors and pulleys and belts. Just as the sun came up, Jennifer Wilde wired a slightly used car battery to the crack of Doom's engines and placed her most 
hideous pumpkin right in front of the ship as a hood ornament. There, she announced proudly. It's finished, and there's nothing left. But it was true. Every last piece of Jennifer's junk pile was attached to the spaceship. The neighbors clapped that Jennifer had done a marvelous job. Captain Astroblast squinted at the crack of doom. Looks like a dog's Christmas tree. It looks like a dog, dog's Christmas tree, he grumbled in the voice that I had given him earlier. Well, that's all I've got and the best I can do, said Jennifer. Aren't you going to try it out? It'll never fly, grunted Captain, and he climbed in and turned the key. For several seconds, nothing happened. Jennifer held her breath. <gasps> Suddenly, there was a soft whirring sound, and then a thunderous roar, and the crack of doom shot into the dawn sky until it was nothing more than a distant little dot. The neighbors cheered. Yay! Jennifer glazed, gazed after the ship and sighed, all that beautiful junk gone. Well, I guess he could have done with offering me a ride, she shrugged. I guess we'll move back into the house. That'll make my parents happy. And she trudged wearily through the back door. Two days later, Jennifer heard the roar of engines overhead. She jumped to her feet just as the glossy black crack of doom settled into the yard. The pumpkin still perched on its front. Captain Astroblast climbed out and marched towards the house. Jennifer couldn't move. The captain saluted smartly. Honorary Commander Junkpile, he began. Your unselfish efforts have saved the Earth from a terrible fate. The dreaded drogs have been driven back. The Intergalactic Federation of Space Cruiser Pilots would like to thank you. With that, he presented Jennifer with the most frazzled and homely plastic flamingo she had ever seen. Its beak was missing and only one beady eye and that stared back at her. It's the junkiest thing I could find, said the captain, and as he grinned, I knew you would appreciate it. Before Jennifer could think of a single thing, single, 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 before, happy, 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 happy. Before Jennifer could think of a single thing to say, Captain Astroblast and the crack of doom were gone. Jennifer held up the flamingo for inspection. It's beautiful, she exclaimed. It'll make him a perfect new start to my new junk pile. And she headed straight for her bedroom with a flamingo tongued, tucked under her arm. I like that book. Junk pile, Jennifer. Beetle, bear, beetle, bear, 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 bear. Great. See? Just She's because you collect. That's it. The queen of upcycling. That's it. Yeah. Her friend, Recycle Rita. <laughs> and Cycle Rita. That's great. You see, somebody saw her as somebody that just collected junk, right? And it turned out that her junk was very useful. I collect all kinds of junk. Mostly comic books. I like comic books. Do we have time for one more read? I think we got time for one more read. Yes? Do we have time for one more read? Pardon? Oh, okay, well. Yes, thinks I should get a puppy. No, no puppy. We'll ask in a couple minutes when Miss Christie's thinking straight. Lots of tongue twisters in that book. Only to me, Bev. Only to me was there tongue twisters. Okay, let's read this book. Commotion in the Ocean. I like reading this book. We have read this book before. It's called Commotion in the Ocean. Uh, Melissa Soren uh, lent us this book. Uh, and I'm going to have to get these back to her because I just have to remember where she lives. <laughs> so bad at that. Uh, this is by uh, Gilles André. And it is illustrated by David Wojtowicz. I hope that's even close. You're holding it a little too close. Oh, sorry. There you go. You're gonna be about there, Tazzy. Okay, but I wanna, I wanna put it close so people oh, can okay. see the name. Want people That's to what see I was that like. part. Oh, Yeah. Okay. So, I guess, oh, it was pretty oh, blurry okay. for a second there. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I th think we ought to go take a look. You'll find every sort of creature that lives under the sea swimming through the pages of this book. There are dolphins and whales and penguins, jellyfish and sharks, and there's a turtle and a big white polar bear. 
when you see behind the wrecks and in between the rocks. Let's take a look and find out who's hiding there. It's a rhyming book! Oh, rhyming book. It's been a few days since the, we've had a rhyming book. Yeah, it's book. been a while, hey? Mm -hmm. The crab likes walking sideways. I think the reason why is to make himself look like a sneaky... Lick himself, look, make, make himself look sneaky and pretend that he's a spy. And turtles, we crawl up on the beach from the, the water to bury our eggs in dry land. Then we lie on, we lay a whole batch, and when they're hatched, they scamper about in the sand. Baby turtles are so cute. Oh, yes. Baby anything, really. I. You know. We should get a baby puppy. No. A wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak. It's not how do you do, as I'd say to you. It's a click, whistle, squeak. An angelfish. Hello, I'm the angelfish, darling. The prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. The jellyfish loves to jiggle, which no other fish, so which other thing, I'll try reading again, there we go. Which The jellyfish loves to jiggle, which other fish think is quite dumb. She knows that it's not all that useful, but jiggling is sure lots of fun. I would agree with that. That's it. Who cares what anybody else thinks? Nobody cares. A uh, puppy is a baby dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want a puppy. No. Miss Christie's not thinking clearly. We'll ask her in a few minutes. I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide? Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. What creature am I talking about? Sounds like it might be a shark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the fish are saying yikes. Or the starfish are saying yikes. <laughs> I love to chase after small fishes. It keeps me from getting too bored. And then when I start feeling hungry... I skewer a few with my sword. That's a swordfish. See. Oh, how about this one? See if you can get this one. In. Having eight arms is quite useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold on to my children and tickle each one on the tummy. Octopus. What's well, because it says it right there. Yeah. I should have asked it before I brought up. Yeah. Well, the eight legs kind of gave it away. Could make, how many legs does a squid have? I don't know. Oh, okay. At the bottom of the sea, the stingray flaps its wings. But don't you get too close to him, because his tail really stings. And a lobster, you should never shake hands with a lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do. With a clippy-clap and a snippy-snap, he will snip your fingers in two. Oh, oh no. That's it. You can't have that. No. Nope. Watch your finger, Taz. No, oh, I wasn't even thinking. <laughs> get, oh, quick, get me some, get me some warm butter. Because that's what you put on a lobster. I like warm butter. Well, this one I'll have to put my because my glasses on because uh, it's all in different colors. Let's see if I turn the light on. Maybe that'll help. There we go. Miles below the surface, where the water is dark and deep, live the most amazing creatures that you could ever meet. There are fish of all descriptions, of every shape and size. Some have giant pointy teeth. And others have big bulging eyes. Some of them can walk around and balance on their fins. But the strangest fish of all have glowing whiskers on their chins. Yes. You need some glowing whiskers on your chin. I have glowing whiskers. Look. <laughs> Go swimming in the ocean. No, nope, you can't because you wreck the lamp. There's no other beast on this planet as big as a giant blue whale. He measures one a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. Holy. That's a big, that's, oh, they're massive. 
Have you ever seen a whale in person? I have. I've I've actually um, I've actually. Oh no, that was a dolphin that I touched. Did I touch a whale? I can't remember. Yeah, a whale too. We did uh, at at uh, when I was down in the states a long, long time ago at the um, at the uh, uh, Marine World, Marine Marine Land, or whatever it was. But uh, I used to live on Vancouver Island, and we saw the whales all the time. It was pretty awesome. And also uh, many different places where I've gone um, to do shows, like up north on Vancouver Island and to Fino and things like that. So oh, all kinds of stuff. And up north. Yes. So the answer is yes. And sometimes I eat them. They're little blue ones. about that big. Little blue whales. They're delicious. Our bodies are covered with blubber. And our tusks are incredibly long. We're grumpy and proud and bellow out loud to show that we're mighty and strong. What is it? Is it a walrus? It is a walrus. Hawk, hawk, hawk. Which I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what does a walrus say? Well, hello there, pals. Good to see you. Hey, Tennessee Tuxedo. We waddle around on our icebergs, which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap and splash off the side. What do you think that is? It's Batman's enemy. Is it a penguin? It is a penguin. Deep out in the Arctic, my the mama polar bear snuggles up to all her children since it's very cold up there. Guess what kind of animal it is? Well, you said it was a polar bear. I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Gummies don't count. Okay, well, I'm going to tell that to my doctor. I had 12, 12 pounds of gummies. You're not supposed to do that. Well, gummies don't count. And that says gummies do not count. They taste delicious, though. I like those blue ones. What a lot of creatures we've seen beneath the sea. What a lot of funny things they do. But some of them might lick their lips and eat you in one bite. And some might want to swim just around with you. The dolphin's very friendly, the lobster's very fierce, but the shark is the most dangerous by far. Can you name the other friends we've made along the way? See see if you can tell me who they are. Okay, so what we, we saw... What else did we see? We saw um, penguins and walrus and polar bear, a jellyfish, an angelfish, the shark, uh, whale, uh, lobster, crab. What else? I think that's it. Let's see if we could see what's close. Octopus. Did octopus. I didn't say octopus. No, octopus. Ironically, that would have been number eight. Oh, and turtles. So crab and turtles, dolphins, angelfish and jellyfish, the shark, swordfish and octopus. I forgot about swordfish. Oh, stingray and lobster. And all the crazy, great, the neat ones from the deep sea. A blue whale, walruses, penguins and polar bears. We did pretty good. We got we got a bunch of them. Well, this whole book seems fishy to me. <laughs> did you see what I did there? Did you see? <laughs> yes. Well, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, that brings the close of the show. Uh, a couple of silly books for you. So thank you very much for tuning in on day 419. Day Tomorrow is day 420. 420 days of reading to you. That's pretty awesome. Uh, what book number was it today? Do you know, Miss Christie? It was book number 440, you know, 843 and 844. Pretty lots of books, hey? There you go. I will be reading, uh, did you finally get a puppy? I did get a puppy. His name is Grizzly Eastcott. There it is right here. And it does an impression of Miss Christie. Two puppies, no puppies, no puppies. That's a pretty good impression. That's a pretty good impression. I'm and Johnny, you missed it, but he peed. Ah, <laughs> uh, pee is for puppy. And that's what's on my leg. Oh, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in, and and uh, I'm going tomorrow is another show for nurses of uh, Alberta, and then on actually yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday, right? And then on Thursday I have two shows, uh, one in the one in the afternoon for uh, CNIB, and then the Melford Rotary Club, and then on Friday I'm talking to a school up in uh, Roblin, Manitoba. So that's pretty cool. 
If you'd like me to come and talk to your school or read, uh, read uh, stories uh, to your class or talk about good mental health and things like that, just ask your teacher to Google me, Big Daddy Taz, and we'll get it going for your school. That's what we'll do because it's important to share our kindness. Because what do we say every night? And, and right in the world where you can choose to be anything you want, please always choose to be kind. And kind's very easy when somebody's being kind to you, but when somebody's not being kind to you, that's when it's very hard. And I want you to take that challenge. If somebody's not being kind to you, try very hard to be kind back because that could change the whole way things turn out. I think that's a good idea. And don't worry about being perfect because in all that you say and all that you do, you never have to be perfect, you've just got to be you. Justin, can you do me a favor and get your mom to call uh, Kelly and I will read to your class uh, sooner, please, and thank you. So ABK, everybody, William, Samuel, Justin, and Yaz, thank you very much for tuning in. Lots of love from Miss Christy and I. And I'm going to sing my song. There you go. One, two, three, four. Good night, Facebook friends. Good night. Good night, all my friends. Good night. May your dreams be cheery and your dreams be bright. Good night, all my friends. Good night. Sleep tight, all my friends. Sleep tight. Sleep tight, all my friends. Sleep tight. May your dreams be so silly till that morning light. Good night, all my friends. Good night. Have a really good night. And I will talk to Miss Christy about getting Grizz, Grizz a friend. That's no. a real puppy. No puppy. 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 She said maybe.